chapter one and two are both just kind of creep hitters. Suddenly, you have so much emphasis on Dubu's Bane making plays. Ooh, do you like that? Because that's a hero you Jeez, traditionally no. like in everything. It's same. It's I mean, a similar concept. It's good as it was anymore. Because uh, look at his HP. There's no regeneration coming out from the fountain. We'll be able to pick up the water rune. Moon Meander, a bit of a trouble. It looks like he had a tether to uh, range creep in order to get away. Januel's a little bit low as well. Saberlight might be able to pick up his oh, kill just the before nerfs. the Shikuchi can go up. The extra three seconds and yeah. level one Shikuchi gets closer, and here we go. Stun Lance actually reads it really well. Yeah. Kunkka, so tanky though. He does have a fairy fire and will manage to live, but he's certainly not super happy. His CS was going okay, but Moon Meander now going to be gone on, and Raven picks up, or sorry, Daniel picks that kill in space. It depends. Like, if Kanka manages to recover, then you're going to have an initiator. There's a rotation. Nice pullback there. Actually, a little awkward because the X broke the bush bushwhack, so they didn't even get the full amount of damage from that one, nor the that big hard camp stack. Not trying to stack <laughs> at 530. Thank you very much, JJ. I like how JJ just calls you out a little bit. Hey, it's fine. Sleep. Into a split Earth stun and a lot of damage because he picked up his level six first. So, Bryle, a really good kill. 14. Kanka has 30. Uh oh. Bryle. Dubo gave him the heads up earlier, and uh, DJ will do what he can in order to snag some of these last hits, but it looks like Bryle got most of them as a result. 48 and 14, but he is going to be chased down. Nice body blocking here from Jab. So, Bryle, he's going to try and go a different route here, but he's going to be pulled in by the Bushwhack and Armel. Will claim the last hit in order to try and recover his game a bit more. Oh, in that One of the support, maybe. Yeah. 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 Like, if they have an IO joining that last track in that situation, I think they take the hard camp, and I'm not sure if Fnatic could actually contest that last track, but... As a result, though, they do manage to get a good kill. Same time, Ryle is now free to TP to some other lane. It's going to be the bottom lane, where Saberlight leads off at the arena to get a big pickup on the carry of Raven. This is uh, this is a guy going to smoke and move across the map, or what is this? They've got just a four-man in the enemy jungle. They're all just hanging out together. Okay. Sure. I feel like, uh, you know, they, they have this nice lead. I want to see them build on that momentum and, and try and pressure mid tower or something. Yeah, definitely. But. They would love to collapse on the mid tower with less track. Uh, first usage of the Fiend script. Dubu, like I already praised him, but he is we've seen that uh, Kunkka is struggling a little bit. Uh, so maybe, like, they need this blink dagger. They need someone to be able to initiate the follow up on Kunkka's X mark as well. Nice hit from Saberlight. Jabs is doing the smart thing there and trying to pull the creep wave to the side because he knows the right side is going to be occupied by TSM FTX, but he still gets caught by that sneaky spear from Saberlight. The rest of Fnatic is going to show up here to still try and defend this tower, but it's going to be hard. Boat combo is going to land on Moonmander. Never mind, there's going to be the Nightmare Dodge, and that's it for the mid tower. They have nothing left. Need the, like, kill Phantom Assassin, but look what she's doing right now. Blink Dagger on Saberlight, a fresh pickup that's going to be able to catch Raven. And Januel just kind of like stands there going, okay, I can't really do a whole lot. He's going to be dusted, might be able to survive, quickly turns himself into a piggy for a little bit more movement speed, but is still ultimately caught. Nice two kills for TSM FTX, while Jabs tries to push the other side of the map he, because he's still looking for that blink dagger, but Dubu is setting up right now. He's going to go for the uh, Fiend's Grip to ensure Jabs does die. So I was going to say perhaps a little bit of space for Jabs to pick up his blink, but even that is denied. They need to get some out of this. Yeah. Uh, they're setting things up. Oh, uh, no, no. You missed the timing there on the bushwhack. DJ a little awkward. At least they'll still manage to get Moon Meander, but now considering how things are going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Saberlight. Kind of fishing there for a spear opportunity. Doesn't actually hit it. DJ looking for the quick pick off on a Dubu. They might just be able to get it. He's going to self nightmare, but not before Januel can catch up. Run him over with the Shikuchi. Gunka's getting closer. Even when he plays against the Phantom Assassin, it seems like it's going to be like casual Blitz Knuckles into casual Ogrex. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> complete the Sanj and then go back for the MKB. Is they're going to tear into Armel here? The tankiness of the Kunkka is no match against the Life Sealer. Just kind of like sticks on top of you, Dubu. Once again, trying to set up more kills but perhaps is being a little bit too oh, greedy. Raven gets uh, it with a crit. A crit dagger is going to be able to finish him off. They will manage to get the kill onto the Weaver. Oh, oh never mind. He actually managed to get time lapse back, but he still dies because there was the relocate in. But uh, normally, 
from the pass in the four position. Now in this off lane roll with the Sand King, he's gonna have to do a lot to recover this game because they are bleeding out kills left and right. Raven looks to be able to jump away here, but he doesn't want to jump into the Life Sealer. Do manage to hit him with the Bushwhack. Does a little bit of damage to follow up with the Epicenter. It's coming in, Tomato gets off the Rage, and he's trying to keep his health alive here, thanks to oh, the little the bit of the Ender, but they finally finish him off. There just wasn't enough heroes here from TSM, FTX, and they may be able to lose multiple heroes here. Fnatic, they pick up two. Looking for Saberlight as well. Unfortunately, the Torrent, he went. You can only pick it up on very specific heroes, and I think Lenshrank is one of them. Yeah, I think that's doable. Oh, Saberlight. Relocate coming in. Raven, ooh, they hit him with the spear, but it didn't actually launch him into the tree. He's going to go for the TP out, and there's no more stuns left to be able to stop him. So, all things considered, I feel like that wasn't good the trade. For yeah, they, they could have <laughs> lost the more heroes there. Uh, yeah. Let's see how they play after this. Like, uh, you know that TSM FTX will decide to threaten Roshan oh, in the next few kill. minutes. That's going to be Mars going down. A nice pick. DJ setting that up once again with the Bushwhack. They are finding these little opportunities. TSM FTX. I'm not sure if they're just like not respecting the pickoff potential of Fnatic enough. Triangle and also be able to protect it. Yeah, the dangerous part is going to be I feel like he's going to get Battle Fury and Tomato's going to be looking at an MKB not long after. So for a while, Raven's going to be pretty hardcore counter. Darmel's going to have to pop his BKB. There was going to be a Fiend's Grip, but Jabs does manage to uh, stop that. Oh, never mind. He was actually still on cooldown. So Jabs maybe just gave up his life for nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, th this JJ, he always points out our mistakes. You know, yeah. I smoke into like one kill and turn it into Roche Pit. They are already smoked. Saberlight uh, ready to jump in. But Here comes so the epicenter combination. The hoodwink to lead things off. The first damage isn't going to be enough. The self nightmare. Dubu saves him. And now Tomato can just go to town on these heroes. Armel, he's going to be the first to fall. Jabs is likely going to die here as well. He's going to have one last burrow strike, but Saberlight can keep pace. And uh, we'll claim the last hit there. 8,000 net worth lead now. It's nothing Fnatic can really do. They know what's happening, but they don't have the team fight to stop it. All they can really do is just try and delay, delay, delay until they have that BKB on PA. Uh, meanwhile, Lifesteal already has the MK locator. Just the mech plus uh, stick might be even enough. And they also have the Nightmare save that uh, was very effective in the last couple of fights. Also killing Armel's career. Dubu, man. <laughs> uh, they get this kind of, they like, once they get this sort of lead, him on Bane, he's just constantly fishing for more and more kills. So you, if you've ever watched Dubu's stream, uh, you, I would encourage you to because you could probably learn a lot. Or if you've ever uh, seen him in a pub or something, this guy, he, he's somebody who directs people nonstop. And he, he is very good at being able to read the movements of the enemy. And you could see that with this Bane. He's just constantly finding more and well, more pickoffs. He can read the movements, but if he's playing against the bad players, that's the thing. You know, if you're talking about 3,000 MM players, even after playing uh, on the same patch for so long, we're still getting, like, surprise stunned by it. Yeah. Setting up. Here comes the initiation. They're going to go for Dubo. Unfortunately, didn't catch Bryle as well. A quick pick, though. Can they actually get out? Looks like Jab's going to be left behind. His fresh yields pick up will not save him here. An immediate buyback from Dubu as he senses this is an opportunity. He's got 40 seconds left on the Aegis. No Epicenter. No Sand King. Saberlight. Nice Arena. Catching three. Immediately goes for the Hoodwink. There's going to be a lot of their damage gone if DJ dies, and he will. Tomato. Armlet's toggling just to keep this Aegis alive a little bit longer, but he still only has 20 seconds left. They will get popped now, but Dubu does manage to get the Fiend's Grip in the back Ooh, line. The damage. Catch jabs, jabs. Dead again now. Oh, the spear misses, but this should be the set of barracks, and yeah. they, they can continue. There's still 60 seconds without a Sanking, who does not have a buyback. He bought the, the full Yule Scepter, and uh, this is what I was afraid of. Like, they saw Dubu and immediate they're going to have to go for one last attempt at a hold here. I'm going to be sure if they've got the BKB back up for Raven. So it looks like they might be able to get him. Oh, no, the Nightmare. Can Tomato infest out of here? No, he dies. He just tried to man fight against the PA and lost that duel. Now, TSM FTX, they need a full retreat here as the BKB is going to be used by Bryle, the TP out. So a clean escape. A little bit deeper in the jungle. They spot a bunch of TSM FTX heroes, and hopefully they all get out. Uh oh, he does not have a gem yet. Time lapse. Weaver, run the other direction. Saberlight's trying to hunt. Oh, he spotted him. He's going to catch him with the arena here. Now there's nowhere Januel can go. 
He didn't buy the gym. Was oh, uh, nice. I think he had enough gold. DJ's uh, cutting the wave. Uh oh. Dubu was on the other side of the map once again. His whole team's making plays at top, and Dubu's like, I'm gonna set up bottom lane because as soon as you guys chase him out, they're gonna feel like they, they want to be able to run down this other Fiend's grip, but his positioning was top tier this game. So they may have cut the top lane, but mid and bottom are pushing through. TSM FTX could go for it, but they're gonna try and burst down the life stealer and oh the nightmare again! Tomato this time manages to get off the infest, and now Fnatic, it feels like that is just it. They were all in on being able to kill Tomato. That was their only real hope of being able to win a fight. But he survives thanks to Dubu. And uh, now they're two heroes down for an ending high ground siege from TSM FTX. Man, Dubu, <laughs> I, I, I can't even find the words to praise him because, uh, like, th this particular game, he's been involved in 17 out of 28 kills, only died four times as a Bane, and uh, Armel calls it. Yeah, they just tap out. Megas, they know uh, Raven was just not going to get enough farm to be able to stop this. He was never able to really fight the, the Lifestealer too often. They had those one or two picks from Fnatic that stalled out the game, maybe another five, ten minutes. But other than that, it was all TSM FTX. They they looked pretty damn good in this last game, despite being zero and three before this. Edwin.